everyone. Kev with Kev Central here. Got my Stormcat generator broken in 25 hours and today I'm gonna be making a couple of modifications. Be installing a digital hour meter and an NGK spark plug boot. Stay tuned. Okay, gonna start out with the NGK spark plug boot. Let's get it unboxed here. We've got our spark plug boot, NGK. We've got rubber piece for the a little grommet for the coil wire, and this goes on the arrest resistor boot. Okay, so that's going to be all we need there. Try to do this upside down so we have some light so you can see. Now this is the reason that I'm changing this out. Getting this off uh, is difficult and we'll see why here. Get this wire. Push this through here. Starting to see the spring come out. I'm going to get some needle nose really fast. These aren't exactly needle nose, but they'll do. Let's see if I can get this pulled. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So you see how this is not a good design. Gotta watch out these pinch. Ask me how I know. You see we just got a little coil wire here and it just pinches into our spark plug wire. Uh, very basic design. Yeah, I hope this is gonna be big enough to handle that. We'll find out. Pull this out. Okay, I'm gonna, well, I guess I'll just leave these here for right now. Actually, I better move them over here so they don't fall and get lost. So now, take our spark plug wire. I'm gonna try to, oh, first we need to put the boot. What did I do with the other boot? There it is. this threaded on here and this just threads on I mean once it starts it's just kind of eating in and you'll know when it when you get it on tight it'll actually tighten up and you don't have to wrench down on this you just want it snug Bend this cable and looks like I am go a little further so I get my on my plug here yeah, I actually could trim a little bit of this, uh, but I'm not going to. Just in case, I need to make some modifications. You never want to trim until you're sure you have everything proper. Okay. Now, got our coil wire boot on there pretty good. Got this boot on, now I'm gonna need to take off. Okay, false alarm. Actually, I don't even need to remove this. Uh, looks like this cap, they sent the wrong one, but this one actually works with the cap on the plug. So, hey, that's good, right? And for those of you that are OCD, you see the NGK is upside down, don't worry. When you're in the front of the generator looking at it, you see NGK right side up, so it looks good. See, I'm checking how this is routed here. Got no tension anywhere. So this should be good on this. Before I get to the other modification, which is the inductive hour meter, I'm gonna give it a quick start just to make sure it works with this plug cap on. Make sure I haven't broken anything. Make sure it's getting, getting the fire that it needs to run. So I'm gonna give this a, a few pulls, get it started, and then we'll see what happens. 
The NGK plug cap was a resounding success. Fired right up, took five, uh, five pulls. Usually does when it's been sitting. It's been sitting about a week, but that worked perfect. Looks good. Gonna be a lot easier to get the spark plug cap off and on from this point forward. No more poking my fingers trying to get that coil. Again, uh, just to show you, this versus this. Just uh, not a very good design. Really don't like that. I mean, those would come out, they would poke. That's just waiting to wear down your plug wire over time, just vibration alone, but really good. So now we're gonna install the inductive hour meter and see how that goes. Okay, before we do anything, let's unpackage this and see what all we have in the packaging. It's pretty obvious, but seems to be a thing with YouTube. We've got the little inductive meter. Your cable goes in here. And then I'll use some double stick adhesive. It came with a couple of screws, but I'm not gonna screw into the gas tank on this thing or the plastic. So there's the inductive meter. Just ditch the screws. There's the cable. One end of this will coil around the spark plug cable, the coil wire, and the other will tuck in this groove and supposedly that provides induction. We'll know once it gets mounted, this little symbol here will be flashing. I don't know why you can see that. There you go. That symbol on this left side will be flashing. So it'll let us know if it's working or not. So let's start coiling, see what happens. Okay, I got the modifications done to my generator. I got the hourly induction meter installed. Let's see if I can get this turned. Got it installed. It's uh, I tested it out for about 10 seconds and the left side did flash, so it does work. I also got the NGK spark plug cap installed. She goes on and off easy now. I should make for easy plug changes. And I also I ran the cable and this will actually tuck down once everything warms up. I mean, it's like 40 degrees outside today, but ran it through a hole in the frame and then inside the frame there's uh, case mounts for the gas tank. I just ran it up over those, ran it along, zip tied it along the coil wire. I did the five loops, one, two, three, four, five, and zip tied across itself. I actually used two zip ties at different angles to hold it a little better. But uh, I think it looks pretty good, pretty smooth, it works. So I've got an induction meter now, got the NGK spark plug cap, goes on and off easy. So that should eliminate any future problems with that horrible design that they used for the cheap spark plug cap and, uh, and spring retainer within it from the factory. So I'm going to give it a crank and just to see if we can see that meter flashing. Hopefully I can get it without the sun blocking it and uh, then we'll be done.